So we are off to a pretty good start. Uh, we've got most people are logged in and ready to go. We do still have a few people who are having trouble getting logged in. And I'm just going to say, don't be too afraid if you're having trouble getting logged in, because uh, we're not going to go all that fast for the first week. If you're having trouble with cookies, which a couple people are, try and change uh, the setting on your browser. Uh, under Tools, you'll see in Internet Options, if you go under that menu, you'll bring up a, uh, a dialog with a series of tabs. And under Security, you can do a few things. You can list it as a trusted site, or you can change your security setting to medium. Anyway, give those things a try if you're having trouble with cookies. Yesterday, we were working on average rate of change questions. That's what it looks like on the course sheet. And when you click into it, you're going to see that there are three questions that relate to average rates of change. Okay, That's a question and answer form. So put in, a, uh, put in an answer, have a look at what other people think, and then if you want, you can modify your own answer. That was yesterday's uh, activity. If you're done that, if you finish that, feel free to move on to the next thing which is our quiz, Calculating Average Rates of Change. When you click into that, you will actually see the general formula for calculating the average rate of change. Notice in this quiz that you've got two attempts, and it's going to take your highest grade. So if your first attempt doesn't work out, uh, take another attempt. This quiz is going to take the highest grade. Really, the big message here is average rates of change just measure the change in one variable relative to another variable. A lot of the time, we're doing distance and time, but it really doesn't have to be the change in distance relative to time. Okay? And average rates of change are measuring the change between two distinct points. So have a good day. Have a good day, too.